So what criteria would be important to Ada in choosing a new place to live if she does live? She's used to a comfortable lifestyle. As we've been discussing in class, the existence of servants makes up for the lack of a lot of other technology that we have become used to. I will assume that she has income from her involvement with the Difference Engine and the Analytical Engine and her association with Charles Babbage. She has been divorced and is probably somewhat disgraced by this. She will not be welcome in some circles of society. However, this wasn't as uncommon as we might think, looking back on this period from our current time. In fact, a generation prior to this, her own father had had an affair with Lady Caro, who was a member of the nobility, and Lady Caro was still accepted in social society. So I think Ada can get through this. However, she craves intellectual stimulation. She's not going to be satisfied living in a neighborhood of shopkeepers or laborers. She's going to want to have people that she can talk with. So for our project, we need to first identify at least two variables that might be used to make this decision. We have several different kinds of records available here. Census records, life events, which are births, marriages, and deaths, and data summaries. The data summaries were constructed right after each census manually with clerks going through the pages of the census, pulling out data and tabulating it to be able to draw conclusions. We're going to start from the census records. When we first click on census records, we don't see any data here. This form is used to select the data that you want to see within the census. In order to see any data, you have to click apply at least once. And having done that, you will then see stream of data here. And if you choose to, you can download it with the comma separated values link here. And that will download straight into your spreadsheet. So here's data that has been copied in largely from ancestry.co.uk and, and from some other sources. Our census year that we're looking at here is 1861. We may have some other years available in the future. London was split across three counties. This data happens to come from Middlesex. And the civil parish, we have Bethnal Green, Shoreditch. We have all of the parishes. Sub-registration districts are areas within civil parishes that were created for the purposes of organizing census data and other kinds of governance. And then within a sub-registration district, the, the data would not fit into one physical volume. So the enumeration district is really the name of the volume of pages that the census records went into. Then we have a street address, the surname and given name of the people in the census, their position in the household, whether they were the head of the household or a boarder, somebody who was paying to lodge there. It's just the same as a lodger, the son or daughter of the head of household, etc. Their occupation, what is it that they do for a living? This varies in its accuracy. People interpret this somewhat differently during the census period, but we can use this data for the most part. Age, gender, and birthplace. Note that many people are indicated as scholar and also note the age. Scholar in this case means student. It means somebody who is aged 14 or younger who is actually in school and does not have another occupation. You might think this would be all children, but in fact there were children who were working as early as five or six. You can sort this data at any time. So for example, I can make sure that I'm seeing data from a particular civil parish altogether. So here's all of Bethnal Green. And you can also filter up here. Now, I think that Ada will probably be interested in districts that have plenty of servants. I think that will be a good proxy for the comfort that she is used to. So what I'm going to look for, all the individual records where the relationship to household is or contains servant. And I'm leaving the percent sign before and after because this will pick up general servant, servant of whatever, maid servant, so this will pick up all the people whose relationship to the household is servant. And I'm also going to look for people who have listed servant as their occupation. Sometimes a servant will live outside of the house and will come in and work every day. So here are all the servants. And we see that they live in various places. And what I think I will probably do for next week's project is look to see where the proportion of servants per dwelling, per address, is highest among the various civil parishes or sub-registration districts. So that's one thing I can do. 
Another thing that I could do is look for people who have especially interesting occupations that I think Ada would want to live near. Unfortunately, I don't have very good data for that here. I'm going to discuss the method that I've used to create this database in a couple of minutes, but I don't have a really wide range of all of the different occupations here. And when I've looked through and tried to find authors um, or writers, I have not found very many. I've not found very many engineers or scientists. I have found artists in the occupations. So I could look for something like that. It would be a little difficult to try to find which civil parish had the most interesting assortment of occupations that she might want to live near. So something that I thought about was, well, what other kinds of professionals or intellectuals do we have a lot of records on? And if we go over to the data summaries, it turns out that I have employment data for all of the different civil parishes. So by entering employment in the data category, I can filter this down and see that for each civil parish, I have a variety of different kinds of employment. And this goes across all of London. These are, are data that were consolidated from the census. This isn't from a sample. This is from the full census itself, broken into male, female, and all. And here are some of the different values. One of the professions that I have is teaching. So I'm going to look for teachers. And now I can see for each civil parish, I have male, female, and all, full number of teachers. And I'll probably want to take this value, kind of value. Maybe I'll say she wants to live near female teachers specifically. I'll take these values and download them using the comma separated value. And then I'll go back to the general category and get the population of each of these civil parishes. And I'll calculate the number of teachers per complete population of the district and try to find out which district has the highest proportion of teachers. So I'm going to look for the number of servants per household. I'm going to assume that Ada is interested in teaching mathematics. This was not that uncommon in Victorian London. She had been taught by a very famous mathematician named Mary Somerville. And teachers are readily identifiable in the data. As far as variable classification, one of the other requirements of the project, I'm going to indicate whether the variables are quantitative or categorical. The number of servants per household is a quantitative variable. If I'm able to find information about the employment of individuals in an interesting way, that would be a categorical variable. But the number of teachers per parish is a quantitative variable.